Hey, Platinum Fox here, you can call me Plat, and I'm back, and today I'm going to show you how to get Minecraft Forge, and uh, how easy it is, and you can show this to your friends, get them into the modded world of Minecraft, it's awesome, it's great. This is going to be uh, an update to my older video of this, that one is just, uh, it's really dated, um, and it's old, and it's longer, I'm going to try to make it shorter, so let's just get right into it and make it better. And for the new version of the Minecraft. So, uh, first things you're going to want to do is you're going to want to get some mods and Minecraft Forge. Because you're going to need the Forge Launcher. So, all the links for everything will be in the description. Don't worry about that. But you're going to want to you're gonna wanna go to files.minecraftforge.net. And once you're here, what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to find the version of Minecraft you want mods for. Um, I'm going to stick to 1.12 just because the mods I'm doing today uh, are for that version and 1.13 is kind of a little new but um, th it should it should work exactly the same for 1.13 or 1.8 or 9 or 10 or 11 or any Minecraft version or uh, really um, from like 1.7 and up maybe I'm not sure about the older versions anyway what you're gonna want to do is you want to come here and where it says download latest or recommended you're gonna want to do one of these ones. I'm going to do the recommended just because, you know, it's recommended. So why not? And uh, what I do is I click the installer button right here. And you got to wait. Don't click anything, but you got to wait about five seconds up in this top corner. And uh, once the five seconds is over, you can click skip. And then your download will start. And I'm going to click keep. Uh, and so we're going to let that download. It's finishing up. There we go. Just finished. All right, so we can exit out of this tab. We have Minecraft Forage. That's there. Now, the two mods I'm going to be doing today are two examples of a mod that just is a mod and a mod that requires a dependency. So, Ice and Fire, uh, I'm sure you've all heard of it. It's a, a great mod. So, Ice and Fire is an example of a mod that requires, uh, that has a dependency. So, you can, uh, I always recommend Minecraft Curse Forge for mods, by the way. Uh, Minecraft Curse Forge. This link will be in the description. Don't worry. But anyway, um, if a mod has a dependency and it doesn't say on its overview page, like Ice and Fire does say, mod requires L library or L lib for short. Um, if it doesn't say that there, you can always go to the relations page and click dependencies. And it should be listed here. So this is L library. So I'm actually going to open this in a different tab. And we're going to go back and we're going to download uh, Ice and Fire. So we'll get this latest update that just came out. A couple days ago and we will download it and we'll keep it and then we'll move on while that downloads so L library same deal you just want to make sure you get it for the Minecraft version uh, it was made for it so 1.12 and we will just click this and download that and keep that and then we're actually done with those two so the last mod I have here uh, is iron chest now iron chest it's a great mod if you like to store things um, it just allows you to upgrade your chest basically but as you can see here it's for 1.13 um, we're doing 1.12 remember but it should work the same if you had 1.13 now iron chest is an example of a mod that requires no dependencies it's just uh, we can click here it, it, it's just itself you just you don't need anything extra you just need the mod so we're gonna go ahead and click uh, 1.12 right here and then I'm gonna click the download icon and we'll keep it and now that it's done we will drag all these onto our desktop so we can then use them uh, yeah now uh, my forge says one right here and ice and fire say three because I've downloaded these previously before um, yours, if you've never downloaded them, it probably won't say that, but it, it shouldn't really matter. So for Forage, um, all you're going to do for Forage is you're going to double click on the icon, and uh, if it doesn't look like a coffee cup and it looks like, um, uh, like a kind of like this installer paper that just showed up, um, then uh, you're going to want to update your Java. Um, I'll leave a link down to a Java update down below. Um, so what you're going to make sure, you're going to make sure install client is selected, and you're going to click OK. And it should do it, and that's it. You should be done 
Forge. We're just going to recycle that because we don't need it. Um, and now we got our mods here, our three mods. But before we could do these, we got to do some stuff. Now, I'm a little, I'm an organized, I like to be organized. I don't like stuff to mix with my main Minecraft folder in case anything happens. So I'm going to go to my Minecraft folder. And if you don't know how to get there, you just push the Windows key and R on your keyboard. And then you type percent app data percent and you hit enter. Now I'm going to go to Minecraft, my Minecraft folder. And if you look here, um, there's no mods folder here because I don't, I don't keep my, um, forge files in my Minecraft folder. Um, I, I, I make you these subfolders. So basically I'm, you just make a new folder. Uh, it's pretty simple. You name it, whatever you want. Just make sure it's something you can remember. I'm going to name this one, uh, YouTube test and then I'm going to copy it and there we go so YouTube test is right here so basically we're gonna send all these files to YouTube test so um, that way it doesn't mix with our main Minecraft folder and we could switch versions a little bit easier so you could have one folder that's you know forge 1.7.10 or one folder that's you know forge 1.13 or 1.12 or whatever you can have as many folders as you want but I just like to keep it organized that way so I know what mods are where. Uh, so I'm going to close the Minecraft folder for now. I'm actually just going to minimize it. And I'm going to go to my Minecraft launcher. So in your launcher, you're going to want to come. This is the page you should load up on. But you're going to want to come to launch options. And you're, you're going to want to click add new. But before you do that, make sure you um, turn advanced settings on right here. And click OK when you do turn it on. So I'm going to click add new. And I'm going to name it, you know what, I'm, I'm going to name it, uh, YouTube, um, showcase, showing you guys how to get forage. You know, I'll, I'll change the icon. I'll change the icon. Uh, you know, redstone. I like redstone. So then, uh, what you're going to want to do is a version. So here's the one we just downloaded. 2768. And, uh, before you click save, you're not done yet. You want to click game directory. Now this is where the folder is. So you're going to do you're going to want to do backslash, which is the slash mark above your enter key on your keyboard, and then I'm going to hit Control V and I'm going to copy the name of the folder I made. So YouTube test, and then um, if you know how much RAM you have and you know how to um, and you know you're going to need a little bit more RAM because RAM helps uh, Minecraft Forge run, uh, you're going to want to turn on JVM arguments and this 2G right here, which means two gigs of RAM. You're going to want to change it to what you know. Now, I have 16 gigs of RAM in my computer, so I can definitely afford 4 uh, gigs of RAM for a Forge profile. Um, if you only have like 4 gigs of RAM, you know, I would keep it at 2, uh, maybe 3 if you're feeling like you want to push it. But definitely don't put 4 if you only have 4. Don't, never put your max amount in there. Um, so... Uh, that should be it. That should be all we have to do here. We're gonna click save. Now we're gonna go back to this menu. Now, if you notice, when we made the when we um, added Forge, it already made us a, a profile. Where did it go? Okay, it did not make us a profile because um, I have already deleted it. But usually, it'll already make you a profile, like down here at the bottom, below where the redstone block is, and it'll just say Forge. You know, uh, the version number twenty seven sixty eight. Um, if you click that on accident, it will take you to your Minecraft folder. And, and I'm sorry, it will load Forge, but it will load Forge in your Minecraft folder. So if you want to keep organized, just make sure you don't um, click when it, the version it makes um, for you. So, um, YouTube Showcase, we're done. Now, all we have to do is you have to go to News. And then we're going to have to go click YouTube Showcase, and we're going to click Play. And uh, it, sh it should take about a minute to load, a minute or less. Um, and when it fully loaded, uh, you'll see what happens in the Minecraft folder. So uh, it's going pretty fast right now because there's no mods. So we're done. Here it is. Here's Minecraft, powered by Forage, the version. And then we have, um, uh, it says four mods loaded and four mods a uh, active. I'm just going to turn the volume off for now. Um, so we got mods active and now you just quit. 
so basically you just loaded the forge files into the thing so if we go back to our minecraft folder and we click youtube test it's full because before it was just a empty folder and now there's all these uh, stuff in here so now that we have forage files loaded in so like you can click config and forge is there and it's other places now you can add your mods so i'm going to click the mods folder i'm going to shrink this window down a little bit and i'm going to drag in these mods and then that's it that should be all you have to do and if you have optifine just drag it on in your mods folder it likes optifine they get along great so should be done with your minecraft folder um i'm gonna launch minecraft again and now that we're back in the minecraft folder all you should have to do is click play on the forage version you made and it might take a little longer this time to uh to load because it's got to load in those mods okay so this is something that happens sometimes sometimes mod requires um different versions this is a great example um so L library needs Minecraft Forage 2772 or above. So I'll show you how to switch Forge versions. It's pretty easy. So I'm going to close this because we don't need it anymore. And what I'm going to do is I am going to go and quickly grab Forge version uh, 2772 or above because notice it said or above. Okay, and here we are back in our Minecraft launcher. I just grabbed Forge 2823 because L library needed it. It's a great example of what can happen with some frustrations with Forge. But no problem, it's not a big deal. I'll show you how to fix it. So you just wanna, we downloaded 28, what was it again? 2823. And uh, I'm gonna go to launch options. And now you'll see, since this is the first time I'm downloading 2823, it's down here. now. Because it's down there, it also means it's down here in your play, on the play button. Do not click that or else it'll put it in your Minecraft folder. Let's. So now we go back to the launch options. And I'm going to delete this first because I don't want anything to happen. So I'm going to click on it. 2823. Delete. Delete. And I'm going to go back to YouTube Showcase. And all you have to do is click the drop down arrow and select 2823. And then... I click save I'm gonna go back to the new section make sure it's the version and profile we want and I'm gonna click play and now we should just have to wait about a minute or so for it to load everything and it should work this time all right so we loaded no problems didn't give us a warning seven mods loaded seven mods active now remember we had four before that was just base forage and now we added three mods ice and fire L library for ice and fire and then we added iron chest and now we have three so, if I click uh, single player, now notice there's no worlds because it's a whole new folder in your Minecraft folder. So, like, it's a nice way to keep things organized and you don't have, like, one list, giant list of Minecraft worlds. So, I'm gonna just going to create a new world, make it creative, and uh, we'll see what happens. So, here we are. Well, we already know ice and fire work because if we look over here... Um, we could see a dragon skull. I'm just gonna click inventory and right off the bat, I'm gonna click over and look, ice and fire, we have all the things and iron chests, we have all the things for that. So that's it, you're ready for, you're ready for a modded world. You're ready for the wonderful life that is Minecraft mods. Um, and it's just pretty simple. So that easy? Uh, I hope you enjoy. Please like, share, and subscribe this video if you want to. Uh, I will catch you next time. Goodbye.